All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here with another part of this Red Dead Redemption walkthrough. We're starting a little abruptly. We were just uh, heading back to Armadillo and we got a gunfight. I did pick up two things we're going to start the video off with. Uh, we got a bounty, um, and we got a stranger one. A woman in Armadillo at the Armadillo Sheriff's Office said her son went missing in the hills by Hanging Rock. Go and search for him. Normally, I wouldn't do this, but it is American Appetites, which is for one of the ch outfits. The other one was we picked up a bounty. Yeah, this one, the Deadly Assassin, which I this is the only one I really want to get. I need to complete American Appetites. And that means go find the kid. Um, so the bounty is way down below, so I can pick that one up. Actually, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the bounty first, so I can head back to Armadillo, then head upwards and pick up the kid. And then uh, head back to Nigel West Dickens. I know we're kind of... I said I wasn't going to do any... <laughs> I wasn't going to do many side missions, but... It, it, it's for an outfit. I want to do that. And I, I planned on doing bounties anyways. I just meant like side missions, like helping strangers. Most of the time I'm not going to do them, but... In this case, it's something I do want to get done. Wait, there's a coyote. There's an achievement for coyotes, I believe. Let's look at, uh, challenges. Skin five coyotes. I think I need four more, so this should be, this should cover it and I'll get the first challenge done. I don't want to go too far into this, but yep, coyote meat, where's the other one? Here it is. I hope this is coyote. It's not a fox or something. Let's make this quick. I think I've only done one before this, so I need four. This should cover it right here. Let's see. If I can get the challenge done, I want to. Shouldn't be too hard. I'll do a lot of these challenges off camera, but at least the first level, why not? Coyote, coyote, this should be it. Let's see. This is messy. If not, I can find at least one more on the trip over to the bandits. Oh, that was a fox. Yep, okay. What was that? Is this a fox or a coyote? I think it's a fox, probably. I hear more foxes. Dark. Get this over with. Foxes and coyotes around here. Fox meat. Dang it. Ooh. Ooh was that just somebody's dog? I hope it <laughs> wasn't just somebody. No, it looks like a coyote. Please be a coyote. I want to get this freaking challenge done. This will fetch a good price. Oh, that was somebody's dog. Oh my god. Let's stop it. I just killed somebody's dog. <laughs> That's not a stat, is it? It's not a crime, right? No cruelty to animals. Nothing. Okay, thank god. I was about to say. Oh, that's garbage. Let's just go kill this bandit. I can get some coyotes later. Let's not. Let's not kill people's dogs. Oh, it's so bad. Let's not get bucked off either. I need to get some coyotes and I need to get some birds shot out of the sky. If I can shoot this dude before he runs away this time, that'd be nice. Let's uh, dis dismount horse. Oh, that's how you kill him, or capture him alive.
Oh, I, oh, sorry, I already got him. I just need to stay near the body. Let's go ahead and loot everybody first. Let's do that last because we're immediately going to get hunted. You got anything in the house first while we're at it? Thirteen bucks. Vulture. There we go. Come on, horsey. I need to go back up to Armadillo. We're going to book it across land because we're going to get chased immediately. No roads this time. That's a road right there, never mind. Can I outrun him? I'm not gonna worry about their bodies for now. I'll get a couple of bucks, but I can make that up later. I wanna get back to Armadillo quick. There we go. <laughs> it just <laughs> screeched to a stop. I love it. I love this game so far. That's some good money, right? That's another bounty. Plus 200 honor. What money do I get? I didn't even check. Was it 40 bucks? Now we gotta go back up to... Find this kid for American Appetites. It's the only outfit I want to get, Deadly Assassin. See what it looks like. I'm not even going to bother with the rest. Ooh, I think a Walton Gallant, Walton's gang also helped for the bounty. But that wasn't on purpose. That was just for the money. Come on. So where is this at? Who, ha who took the kid? It's called American Appetites. I don't like the sound of that. Where is he at? Let's look at the map here. Oh, I gotta look for the kid up there? Why did it send me here? Oh, it just took me on the closest trip, uh, travel area road-wise. I need to backtrack and go up this hill area. Come on. I think it's over here. Yep, there it is. We're gonna dismount. I don't want to go up there super loud. Oh, there's the kid. Oh, there's blood. Oh, God. And a shoe. And a bone. Are we... Are we a tracker now? Like, is this a skill that John Marston has? What the freak? That's it? Ain't no way that's it. 
What's it say? Journal strangers. Did I take too long? Wait, what did it say? Is there anything else around here? I, I'm, I'm so confused. I want to find out what's going on here. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely lost. Uh, did I do something wrong? I might have done something wrong. Maybe I should have done this right away. Uh, I might have to do a little research between... Sorry if you heard that in the background. Um, I might need to do some research between parts here. Try to... Oops, sorry. Controller disconnected. Do some research between parts trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, we're going to head back over to uh, Nigel West Dickens. I, I, I hope I've been saying his name right. Man, that sucks. I really want to find that kid. Nigel West Dickens. Yep, okay. We're just going to cut across land probably for the most part. Don't get hurt. Can you kill your horse on accident? Easy. Come on. That's the hanging rock. I need to find that treasure hunt too. I'm so confused on what happened with that kid though. Was it, did I take too long? Did I get the kid killed? Because I don't think I, actually, I can check that. Yeah, complete American appetites. I'm gonna have to figure this out. It said inactive, it didn't say failed or anything. Why is it telling me to go this way? This is not where the. They're taking me on one big loop all the way to Nigel West Dickens, aren't they? I could just cut across land. Let's go. I'll stick with it for now. I, I'm, I'm going to do some research between parts. I want to get that done. Are you a wolf? Because you are freaking immortal. I think those are wolves. Let's check. Is that a coyote? Because I'll, I'll, I'll get this challenge done. I apologize to everybody. If you, if you think I talk too much, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, uh, I just, I enjoy these videos and getting these as, as a wolf. I'm not even gonna bother with the other one. I enjoy getting these filmed, and it's, it's a, it's a real trip for me. Especially exploring some of these older games that I, I grew up playing. I mean, I was. I was very young when this game came out, and I played it pretty early. Oh, I went the wrong way. So, it's it's just been a, a lot of weird trips back into the past for me, filming some of these games. And obviously, I'm 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 going new games as well. I, I, there's so many games I'm trying to keep up. What the? Fr What the freaking hap- what is this? It's not my fault. What the freak just happened? What? take all the money, it's yours. Please, don't kill me. What in the world is happening? I doubt you need this. I just turned a corner and run into this? Oh, it's a lot of money, I'll take that at least. Freaking wild animals, man. Let me get my horse back and get the freak out of here. Can I even do something with the wagon? Hold up. 
Nah, it doesn't look like it. I'm not gonna bother with it. Let's get my horse and get out of here. Go. Okay, Nigel was Dickens. Let's stop getting distracted. This is a beautiful game. They did such a good job with this. So we're meeting a uh, so-called snake oil salesman. Um, I lost where I was talking about when we turned that corner, getting right into a gunfight. I completely forgot. Okay, here he is. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, oh, fuck, god damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> so on, is he mister. drunk or injured? I can't, on, no. can't tell which. He doesn't look bloody. I think he's just drunk. Sir, I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. Oh, Can there's the blood? blood. I was about to say, where's blood? Focus. We're gonna get into a gunfight on the way back, aren't you we? You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Dickens Not elixir. Far. Just sit up straight, will you? <laughs> Head for armadillo, friend. Oh, we're totally getting into a gunfight. What is your name, friend? John Morstan. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire. Excuse me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Pollard Twist. Walton's gang. I know who you are. That was close. You're back! Hey, you your... Oh, you out! That kind of works. Oh, he! I need to get him quick. What the hell happened to you? Bandits, hoodlums, the scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die. I can see that. Once again, I'm a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well cut suit, and this happened. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. Do now. I give so much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our makers are funny since humor sometimes. Still, at least I'm trying to get him there quick, but it's kind of hard to shoot, me. listen to Please him talking. Rare habits metaphors. They don't appear to be giving up. Dude, I'm trying my best here. I think you're gonna make it. Why am I so wet? Oh, please make it in time. Make sure you stay on the road. I don't know how much I can take right now. Leave the driving to me. I'll go as easy as I can. Yeah, I embrace you. Nah, he's this fine. He made it. You're gonna make it. Oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be All that Russian, and we're just taking our sweet time here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. <clears throat> Coming from you, don't I die on me. Don't blame much, me. But I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for. Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. <laughs> so what do we get from him? He's he has elixirs, but what for? It's a new person to meet at least. We got uh Marshall Johnson, Bonnie, and now we got Nigel West Dickens. Good more more honor. Oh, I have to come back after 9 a.m.
further explore New Austin. I really want to head up to Great Plains just to see if I can find his house. But uh, for now, where's another city? I know there's. A, it looks like a city over there. Uh, is there any big towns that look like could be around here? I mean, I guess this looks like it. This looks down there, down there, down there. Let's go. Let's go and do uh, Marshall Johnson. Get him done, and we'll head over to Bonnie. Marshall Johnson. <laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Ah, don't be getting drunk on me. Hey, Always down to hunt down up. some bad guys. I'm John Wick of the Wild West at this point. All right, let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of I don't know if, if I buy that. Could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshal, you see those vultures? I see them. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Investigate the area. Oh, I gotta get back. Okay. Come. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Where's the rest of the posse at, or is this it? Just us four. Man, this don't look too good. Hey, it looks like uh, Bonnie's horse. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Oh, we got a new weapon, Winchester Repeater. So we got the car repeater carbine and Winchester Repeater. Come on! We'll head for Ridgewood Farm. See if they know anything. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just bored playing me. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Hunt Marshall! More vultures! God oh, damn great. It. Come on, let's take a look. What is it this time? Please no more innocent people dead. I mean, they're, they're video game characters. Wait, hold up. That's a person there. We just walked right past them. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! There's a person right back there. Would you want to help that le innocent lady, it seems like? Let's go! Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Oh, we got a bitch! If you want to run a gang of outlaw, Marston. Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. You can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. 
I'll check this one right here. Any farmers? Ship's clear, Marshal. Yeah. What am I checking? I'm checking uh, the outhouse. No one here. Yeah. Join the marshal at the barn. Whoa, that ain't right. No one would board up a barn like this. Oh, I see the dead down. body cross the markers. You. Get your guns ready. Oh my god. Who the freak did this? Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> well, I definitely heard the gunshots now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Right, boys. We need to get into that house right now. I'll kill you. So let's uh, try out the new. There's a lot of people in this farmhouse. the shed when the coast is clear there'll be a dead oh god i didn't realize it was gonna be a hostage i All shot boys, first at, we uh, to i had to restart right that whole thing I didn't realize there was going to be a hostage. What the hell? I, I can't get in the door. I killed too many people in the doorway. when it's clear wait what the, what okay okay my game is bugging right now wait what is going on i can't get in there we need to get into that house right now How is there any way on God's green earth 
to stop him shooting that person. Boys, we need to get into that house right now. Shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. There we the go. Is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. I didn't realize you could open the door like that. They were gonna kill us all. That was stressful. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Dude, I'm looting bodies. What you mean? My God. I'm looting all these bodies. I'll, I'll leave the two inside the house. Okay, I was so confused. I was like, how are you supposed to get in the, inside the door without getting innocent people blasted? But no, you can open the door. Some folk tried to escape him to the south, but then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing. And how are we supposed to prevent a crime before it happens? There's what no way we could have known. Hold up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. Oh, it's on. It I'm getting that money. The money, Marshal. These are people's lives, people's homes. <laughs> but there's, you can't. Pre there's no way of Let's knowing go. that they're gonna do Get this stuff. Horse, boy. Follow me. We can still get Oh, there. Go. I mean, I like the thought, but you can't prevent crime without being some hey, freaking dictatorship. Kill Marshall? everybody. What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All this sure looks like their handiwork. Make sense if they cut this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. I hope so. I want to take this guy out. Anyway, Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. He was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. Yeah, I'm down with I'm down you with killing that? him. You just walk away now, John. Dude, just let me kill him. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Oh, it's done for. Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Oh, it's done for with you, Bill. Dude, get the freaking repeater out. What are you doing with a pistol? Follow me! We'll make 
our stand here. Stay in cover. Watch your head. There's even more coming? Look out! Here comes some more of them bastards! I think I have a freaking so much ammo for this gun. Nobody leaves this shack! Is that it? Looks like that's the lot. Where's Bill Williamson? Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> this something makes you still breathing. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Oh, it's not <laughs> even Bill Norman. yet. So he ran away like Thank a you, coward. Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you. Hog time. Let's get him to jail. There is an unlimited number of criminals. I need to go to the gunsmith after I loot all these bodies. I have a good amount of money. Wait, what? Where? What? I don't know where I'm getting shot from. So much cover. Get wrecked. Take the horse meat. I need to sell this stuff. Oh, what were you eating? Dude, it's a horse. They eat grass and hay. And other fruits. Okay, good amount of money right now. Train's coming. Don't get hit by that thing. One more body to loot and we'll head out of here. So I think we can go back to Nigel West Dickens. Ooh, my horse has a saddle now. Nice. Okay, so what do we want to head to next? We want to... Which closer? I guess West Dickens is closer. And we'll go back to, uh... Bonnie. Oh, you're dead. We just try to freaking. Right, let's see. I saw the horse for the uh, sharpshooter challenge, but that dude just tried to rob my horse. Okay, let's let's look at the challenge. Uh, shoot and kill five rabbits. Oh, that's easy. Let's go. There's rabbits everywhere in this game. I just gotta remember to actually shoot them if I see them. I don't know what the sharpshooter challenge even gives you, or if it does give you anything. Come on, rabbits. I'm going a little slower so I can see rabbits, but I, I can't see any rabbits. I need to go through the, uh... Grass a little bit. 
There's one. Rabbits. Come on. Let's go to the gun store now. Where's a hitch at? Come on. I'll hitch him at the uh, sheriff's office. What do we? What is this? Is this another stranger? Or is this the same one? Mister, she's gone. Is this the same one? Who American is? Appetites. My wife, she's gone. She went out picking mushrooms in the hills. Oh, it is the same one. Okay. The stories are true. So everything's leading us back to hanging, uh, hanging rock. About, it? Oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. Okay, we'll definitely do that. I want to ch check by the gun store first. See what pistols we can get. I might be able to afford a rifle, but we'll definitely do that. We'll do that first and come back and pick up this bounty. Gun store. I don't want Nigel West Dickens. I can't do it anyway. It's perfect. Murphy don't put his name to a gun he Why hello? No, nope. uh, can't put no price on safety. I can buy a shotgun and a wait, I already have a Winchester repeater, don't I? I'll buy this pistol. What's the bandolier? Oh yes. I can afford that. I can afford that. Honestly, yeah, let's just go ahead and buy it. Why not? Uh, what can I, like I sell? That meets my strict Coyote meat. A fine transaction. Ooh, fox fur is worth quite a bit. That's a fine deal. Fourteen feathers. Wolf meat. What's uh? What's wolf pelt is worth good. I'm gonna just sell everything. Get some money back. Why not? I don't think you can do anything with these anyways. So get back up That's to two hundred fifty-nine. Right so what's this volcanic pistol? I want to see what that is. So we're gonna head up to the hanging hills, but I need my horse. Check the weapons tab. Okay. So we got the lasso. No, I want to... <laughs> what the heck? Why is it... It's showing the lasso is changing. But it's not the lasso that I want to change. Okay, what? Okay, now it's back to normal. I think. Where's my horse at? There we go. Let's actually head back up to Hanging Rock. Let's see what the freak is going on here. Once again, if you can hear me butt mashing, I'm sorry, but <laughs> gotta do what I gotta do. Still need to kill rabbits. Keep an eye out for that. Let me know down below if I miss one. Okay. Where'd 
Where is it this time? Is it... I need to look at the map. Oh, it's up this way. It took me down the wrong path this time. Let's go. Dude, what is going on in this place? It's just going to be an act. That's a freaking hand. Or that's an arm. Why did it change from a hat to a shoe? Oh, there's both. Oh, you've completed the, this part of the encounter. Okay. That makes more sense. So it's multi-parts. We're going to eventually yeah. find out what's eating them. Um, let's head back down to... Nigel West Dickens. Is it past 9 a.m. yet? If not, if, it's, if we're not, I'll go get the uh, bounty that's down there. I'll do one or the other. The bounties are easy. Easy money. Come on. Hold up. There are gunshots. Oh my lord, you just... Oh, that's the wrong weapon. Are you okay, sir? All in the day's work, my friend. Got another sharpshooting challenge? I expect it to be actually useful here, but... Come on. Rabbits. I see any rabbits. It's a hawk shadow. See if I can do Nigel West Dickens. Is the bounty gone already? I am so sorry. Bounty's gone. That sucks. Okay. So do we have a double barrel shotgun now? I only have two rounds for it. Repeater carbine, Winchester. Got the Volcanic and the Cattleman. I like the Volcanic. I want to see how good that is. Oh, fist fight. Okay, let's do this. Is it 9 a.m. yet? Please be 9 a.m. There we go. Nigel West Dickens. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Ah, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> Uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, John. Let us make haste for Ridgewood Farm. I don't think that's a good idea, actually. Ridgewood Farm, I don't think, is in good shape. Unless it just magically recovered. Can you move out of the way, dude, please? Thank you. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, Okay, don't crash. Oh, dude, shut up. Here's full of wind as a horse with the collar. Stay on the road! You're going to destroy the merchandise! I dude, I'm on the road. The gift of language. Get back on the road! Oh, I'm shut up. By the time we get to Ridgewood. And for that, I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? You weren't Last really time injured? You saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act yep. I can. John, Thousand percent. A more convincing hotel there is. He was hardly had. breathing and or so bleeding. Iago or Cassio I don't like the sound of it. Showmanship, John. The flourish. We're not gonna comment on that. We're yeah, just gonna move on past. Marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll drop this. I'll you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the cloud that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the playing public. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. All right. He's gonna have me shoot something See you shortly. amazingly. And remember, Wait, hold up. For, for, no, for a fact, I know Dead Eyes in this game, that freezing mode where you can, like the duel that happened in the first parts, um, where you can freeze and target enemies. Is this how we get that? I love to see <laughs> John Marston run. It's so funny. Looks like he's gotta take a crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Poop, gotta poop, gotta poop, gotta poop, gotta poop, gotta poop. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm a child. What do you want to tell me that for? Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, Jola Springs! Uh, gather round, gather round! Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backaches, swellings, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of it by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. 
Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. I mean, I could just, I could hit that without this. Oh, I'm supposed to use the pistol. Sight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. Westicken's own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? Well, I could do that. My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot. A Honestly, I don't think that's that hard, even in real life. Above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. If this has to be how I get dead eye. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready to shoot that hat. You're more crooked than a snake in a cactus patch. Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can... Oh, dude, you time. told me to do it. Away, Grow up. You want a duel? Because I'll take you out. Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Fist fight? Let the battle commence. Come on, friend. Get up, Come on. Son of a bitch. <laughs> was that? That was easy. Centers, He's gonna challenge me to a duel now, isn't he? Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get this him. This ends now. Watch out! He's got a gun. Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Shot, I think I was supposed to use dead eye there, but I didn't. I just aimed the gun. Can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. So you just took a deadly sharpshooter's. <laughs> he just took the skill of a deadly sharpshooter and just well, claimed it as a result of his elixir. Well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, you can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's uh, most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! It's honestly not a bad idea. Horse breaking jobs are now available. Hey, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do one right quick. We're almost at the quitting point for this part, so let's, let's do a quick job real quick. This steed looks right pitchy. I don't mind telling. Good luck, son. He's a wild one, and no mistake. So I gotta uh, lasso him. Ooh, that's a that's a that's a gun. Just calm yourself. Relax now. Steady. Nearly there. Trying to keep that 100% success rate, so. Hey, 
There we go. 100% success rate. Take the horse to the stable. Come on, come on. Nice. That's easy. These I'll do these jobs in a heartbeat. Mighty impressive, son. How much do Good I get for job. that? Eight dollars. Not bad. Okay. So let me look at the outfits here. Um, what I have available. So one, I was about to say Cooch Chapel. I thought I recognized that name. I still have uh, Twin Rocks Hideout, Coots Chapel, and American Appetites. Um, what else do I have? Walton's Gang, Search Solomon's Folly, Elite, Eliminate All Other Games in a Game of Poker and Armadillo. Never getting that done. Um, Bollard Twins, No Win at Horseshoes. Never going to happen. So the only one I really want is the Deadly Assassin. And one part is Coots Chapel, so I need to go talk to Seth anyways. Let's look at the map real quick. Where is he at? So the ones I have available, Armadillo. Oh, so this is Ridgewood Farm. Armadillo, uh, just below Armadillo, is Seth. And we'll go back. We'll probably start with uh, McFarland's Ranch. We'll start back there first. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. I will see you guys next time. Take care.